The instant high of winning an event is hard to describe. It's one of the, the best feelings you can have. And on the flip side of that, when you really mess up, it's one of the toughest pills to swallow. I'm Frederick Gospo. I've been drifting for 13 years now, and I was born and raised in Xi, Norway. I currently drive the Rockstar Energy Drink next entire Toyota Corolla hatchback in Formula Drift. When I grew up, I was always mesmerized by the rally and rallycross drivers that weren't necessarily the fastest, but the guys that had the most control. So when I got the opportunity to race go-karts as a kid between the age of 12 and 15, I remember this one kid that I was looking up to and he would only go out when it was raining. So he would not really go go-karting in the summer, but only in the fall, and he would just drift the entire track. And I'd, I think that was my first real drift inspiration. I've gone from being a spectator, watching drifting from the sidelines to becoming a beginner and starting to drift myself. Then being a rookie in Formula Drift, being a contender, being a winner and a champion, and now being an established competitor. And from the outside looking in, my biggest accomplishment would be winning the championship in 2015. But I think the, the most important accomplishment would be just getting into Formula Drift back then. Having the guts to actually cross the Atlantic, try my luck in the States, and eventually becoming a, a staple in sport. To me, Formula Drift is the perfect match between the Japanese roots of drifting and the American sports. You know, this is where everybody wants to compete. To win an event in Formula Drift is first and foremost really hard, and it's getting harder and harder each and every year, but it takes for everything to line up. It takes a great car, a great crew, it takes a great driver, and it takes quite a bit of luck. All of that needs to come together to stand atop the box. In 2017, we became the first driver and team combo to ever win 10 Formula Drift events. And I think the reason why we were able to accomplish that wasn't necessarily my driving, but it was our mindset as a whole. As a team, we're very analytical. We try and look into why we mess up, we try and look into why we do well, and just try and replicate the times we do well. Being the most winning driver in Formula Drift is awesome, but it's not really something that I think about each and every day. That's all in the past. And I think the moment you start living in the past is when you start to decline as an athlete. I'm, I'm here to try and do well in the future.